To repair RMV and SRMV pumps, you will need these tools. Repairing the pump requires several kits. Kits may vary depending on the pump. Check our website for which kit is right for you. To replace the discharge valves, start by taking off the three valve caps on the side of the pump using a 14 mm hex socket. Take out the three discharge valves with a pair of pliers. To remove the valves, grasp the cage with your pliers and pull. Take the new valves and place them squarely into the port. Firmly press down and make sure they're all the way in. Reapply the valve caps and torque to 221 inch pounds. To replace the water seals, piston guides, and inlet valves, start by removing the head bolts with a 6 mm hex socket. Once the bolts are removed, you can easily remove the head of the pump. If the old seals stick to the pistons, twist and pull to get them off. If they didn't stick, you can start taking them off by removing the seals with a pick. Use a reverse pliers, twist and pull to remove the piston guides. If you are going to reuse them, be careful of damaging the guides when removing them. There is another set of seals underneath the guides. Use the pick to remove these two. Now, use the pliers to take out the old inlet valves. Place the new valves in and secure them with something that will fit in the hole. I use one of the pump's head bolts. While securing the valves, make sure not to scratch the interior of the pump. Place the new water seals in at a 45 degree angle and work them in. Make sure this small rubber piece is not missing because it is easily knocked out and lost. Put in the new piston guides. Make sure that the o-ring side goes into the head. You will hear a faint click when they are properly installed. Put in the second set of new seals at a 45 degree angle and push. Again, make sure the grooves on the seals are facing down. Reapply the manifold to the body. Make sure the head bolts line up. Place the bolts back in and torque to 221 inch pounds. To replace the unloader, start by loosening the head. With the front loosened, this allows the whole unloader to be taken off.
To remove the seat, screw in a 5mm bolt into the unloader hole and pull. When putting in the new seat, screw it into the bolt and push back into the hole. Make sure the side with the o-ring is towards the center of the pump. If you are reusing the unloader, clean the threads before putting it back in. Screw in the new unloader and securely tighten it to the pump. You may now re-tighten the front of the unloader. Do not tighten the front of the unloader too much or it will strain the threads that connect the unloader to the pump. Using a 13 mm wrench, remove the chemical injector. When removing, make sure the ball and the spring don't fall out. When putting in the new injector, make sure that the ball goes in first, then the spring second. Retighten using a 13 mm wrench. Do not tighten it too much or it will strain the threads that connect it to the pump. To fix the easy start, take off the plug with a 14 mm hex socket. Take the ball and spring out of the pump. An old spring or corroded ball may cause pressure issues. Do not remove the seat in the back of the easy start. Seats within pre-built pumps are permanent. Put the new spring in the pump first, making sure that it's straight. The replacement ball goes on top of the spring. Put on the cap and tighten it back up.